A long time ago, SST Records used to make these bumper stickers that said, Corporate Rock Still Sucks, and then it said SST Records under it. The local punk rock record store I went to as a kid, as a young man, took one of those, cut out the SST Records, put it over the Corporate Rock, and then it, so it said, SST Records Still Sucks. When I first saw that, I was offended. Now I agree with them. Let's talk about it. Six in the morning. All right, record nerds of the internet. SST Records, do they suck? Well, if you consider they put out The Descendants, they put out Black Flag, they put out Husker Du, they put out Dinosaur Jr., they put out Sonic Youth... They put out the Minutemen, they put out the Stains, they put out the Dicks, they put out the Canadian Subhumans, they put out Soundgarden, they put out tons and tons and tons of great American punk records. I would say, based on that, they clearly do not suck. However, Greg Ginn, the owner, one-time Black Flag guitar player, is the cheapest scoundrel on the planet and really could not care less about how he presses records and there is nothing that defines that more than this reissue right here i guess we need to give you a little bit of descendants history this is the second descendants full-length album this was originally released on new alliance record um, as was milo goes to college new alliance was owned by the minutemen SST owned by Black Flag. So the Descendants put out their first 7-inch by themselves, and then they put out a second 7-inch called the Fatty P that was on New Alliance. And then the first record and their second records are all on New Alliance. The third record, Enjoy, which, fun fact, there's a fart in my intro. It was taken from Enjoy. So that album was put out by New Alliance slash Rustless Records which a lot of people may not know. And so the Descendants really weren't on SST until their final release. And then eventually, New Alliance got subsumed by SST. So, like, the Minutemen records and the Husker Du records that were on New Alliance ended up on SST. This is the New Alliance press. This is the... I, I don't know if this is still the pressing that they... I hope that this isn't still the same pressing that they're selling. Because this is horrible. If you look here, it says New Alliance Records. Marketed by SST, but New Alliance Records. That's gone. And then it just says SST Records down here. And then there's a barcode. Let me show you the real problem, or parts of the problem. There are multiple problems. Number one, so I bought this record new. As you can see, it's still in the shrink wrap. I paid eleven ninety nine for it back in 2008, which you might be thinking, wow, that's cheap. Um, kind of. Not back then. It was kind of the going rate of a record. And you're like, how could that be? Well, look, it has an SST catalog from the time. And let's see what the Descendants records were going for in here. Nine dollars! I got ripped off, people. Nine dollars. You could have gotten Husker Du's Zen Arcade for twelve bucks. Double LP. But you didn't. But you didn't. So what's my problem with this record? Um, well, as you might be able to see, they didn't even glue this on properly. It's just hanging out which is easy enough you know take a little bit of glue that's fine here's an interesting tidbit so this side one is actually side two and side two is actually side one they swapped the labels not that big of a deal but it's weird here's another thing Can you see that the grooves almost go to the beginning of 
the label? What is up with that? So there's a lot of songs on here, but in total, it's only a 15, it's less than 15 minutes. So I don't know why they decided to cut this like that. And if you're wondering why is that a big deal? Well, one of the reasons is that as your stylus tracks inward, it becomes more out of alignment. And so it sounds worse. So by the time you get to the last song, you're really like, this should be dead, dead wax right there, but it's not. And so you might be saying, Hey, how did, how does it look on the original pressing? Well, let me show you side one, plenty of dead wax. Now the most egregious thing about this pressing, not, not the, not the new Alliance pressing, the SST repressing is that on the song Pervert, which is admittedly one of my least favorite, if not maybe my least favorite of all Descendants songs, because it's just kind of gross and not necessary. The one channel cuts out at different points in the song. When I first put this on and I listened to it, I was like, Wh um, what's going on? And so I was messing with all of my gear, trying to figure out why one of my channels was cutting out. And it took me a bit of troubleshooting to realize it was this record. I'm like, well, is it my record or is it the entire pressing? So at the time I was on a punk rock record message board. And so I put it out there. I'm like, Hey, does anyone have this descendants pressing and does the song pervert cut out to which a, some people said, Oh yeah, mine does that too. That's weird. So I reached out to SST to let them know like, Hey man, you're selling a bunk copy of this record. And they said, Oh, well, I, we could replace it for you. We'll give you another one. And I said, I don't think you understand the problem. The problem isn't the one record because it's clearly on all of the records from this, this pressing. You have a pressing issue. There's an issue with your lacquers or your stampers or something. Something went wrong, people. It was nice of SST to offer a replacement record. It would not have fixed a problem. And are there sonic differences between these? There absolutely are. So this record, the SST reissue sounds harsher. It has less bass. The new Alliance is smoother sounding. It has more detail. It's less harsh. It has more low end. It's more pleasant to listen to. So why am I making this video to complain about SST records for a record I paid $11.99 for, which at this point is like a free record because they're now no longer $11.99. They're charging like 25, whatever the, you know, every, every record you go into a store is now 20 to $30. They're charging that price. They're not charging nine dollars direct from sst anymore they're charging real record prices and we deserve better do better sst also reissue the stains record that record rules have a good day